What is up YouTube? It's your homeboy Josh. For today, we're going to be comparing Azure DevOps and GitHub. So let's first talk about GitHub since I've already talked about Azure DevOps in my previous video. Let's talk about GitHub for today. So GitHub, what is GitHub actually? So they are a distributed version control system and a web-based platform that revolutionizes the way software development teams collaborate and manage their code. At its core, GitHub servers are as a centralized repository where developers can store, share, and track changes to their projects. It leverages the power of Git, a widely adopted version of version version control system, to provide a seamless and efficient workflow for developers. So I have some um, key terminologies that GitHub developers use on a standard basis. So those are for pull requests, merge, push, GitHub pages, and issues. So how, what does what does GitHub do? So they have repository creation, version control with Git, collaboration and cloning, branching and commits, pull requests, merging and conflict resolution, issue tracking. So um, what is GitHub used for? They are first used for seamless collaboration within the teams, easy file management, social networking, open source projects. This is one of the uh, best things I know about GitHub because I, I have a lot of friends who are web developers, game developers, but not really, you know, big players still on their very first steps. And I'm really happy because, you know, they, they usually share their projects with me, even though I'm not a really code guy. I'm re not really good at coding and programming. So I just enjoy looking at the progress of their work in GitHub. Actually, one very close friend of mine did uh, created a script for me, uh, for my keyboard actually, to whenever like the code works like it's whenever I type a word. For example, I type the word heart, and I just simply turn on a script with their code, with the code that he did for me. I just simply turn on that script, and then if I type heart anywhere on my computer, it doesn't doesn't really matter if i type it on a chat box or what it automatically transforms into an emoji which is a very very convenient tool for me so now they have also private repositories so that's all for github now we're going to move on to azure devops i'm not really going to dive into uh the the background or who is azure devops because basically i've talked about it in my previous video so let's just go directly to what Azure DevOps offers. Azure DevOps offers Azure Boards, the conductor of productivity, Azure Repositories, the keeper of code, Azure DevOps Pipelines, the wizard of automation, Azure Test Plans, the maestro of quality, and Azure Artifacts, the curator of dependencies. So basically, um, those are the um, services that are offered. By Azure DevOps, then the use cases or where is Azure DevOps usually used or why are they usually used? First, they are usually used because they are a collaborative powerhouse. Next, they have version control components, continuous integration and continuous deployment, artifact management, collaboration and communication, and they have Azure Monitor. So basically, those are all that. Now, to be um, the person who's going to decide if you're going to go with GitHub or Azure DevOps, those are the things that you need to consider. But why? Why do you need? And like, how are you going to use those things to decide? Basically, you just simply have to align it with um, the plans that you have, your personal preferences, your needs, your strategies, and whichever of these two has a lot of more fit as, as a lot of more factors that fit in with your preferences, your needs, your strategies, your plans, that's the software or that's the platform that you want to go for because that will make your work easier and it will um it will be it will be a more hassle free experience since you're not gonna look for services that are not currently present on the platform that you would be choosing since you are let's say about 95% sure that you have all that you need in the platform that you have chosen since you already have aligned it with your preferences, your needs, and the like. 
So that's all for today's video. I hope this video helped you a lot. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for a lot of more videos like this. This is your homeboy, Josh, and I'm going to see you on the next video.